Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of my life of your boy Ronnie Bizzle here in beautiful Las Vegas with the sun right in my face. <laughs> it is early morning. It is Thanksgiving Eve here in Vegas. I'm up this morning. I'm heading out to the post office, drop off these three. Let me see it there. These three packages that I sold yesterday. I packed them this morning. And then, uh, talk to me, Mr. Poker Dealer guy again. No workout today. Today's my day off. And no thrifting today. Because you know, Wednesday is usually my $2 savers thrifting day. But I decided not to do it because I have so much stuff that I need to list from last week. So I made a point to not spend any more money and just get that stuff listed before I go out again. Because you know, the best part about thrifting is the shopping. That's the best part. The listing of those items is the most tedious and toughest part <laughs> because there, it is time consuming. So after I get back from the post, after I go to the post office, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna list some stuff as much as I can. And hopefully I get more sales because right now my sales are actually really, really good. The last, uh, I think the last like five or six days, I've. The sales have been trickling. One, three, one, two, three. I think I've sold maybe 12 or 13 items in the last six days, which is pretty good. And just continue the grind. It's continuing the grind of uh, being uh, Ronnie Bills here in Las Vegas doing this thing. Back just dropped off. Money made. Oh yeah. Doing it the eBay way. An hour before I have to hit the work. So I am here in my eBay photo studio with my boy, Mr. Mannequin. And then he worked here last for a while. So I think time for me. So I'm going to list as much as I can this stuff right here before I go to work. I try to get as much as merchandise as I can up on eBay. That's one done. So I got a lot done in an hour. This is the last thing I'm listing uh, on my show tour. It's actually a cool Bon Jovi like hard rock shirt that I got with the tag still on it. Check it out. That's pretty cool. This is made in like 19, no, 2008. It's like a, but this is the last thing I'm putting up. It's up on eBay right now. You can buy it if you want. But that is this is the uh, the seventh item I put up and. Now I'm done. Well, I'm not done, but I have to go to work now. So, yeah, I'm just um, trying to get it. Uh, so, hope, so hopefully I can get, so so seven is pretty good. Not great. Um, but hope maybe tonight I'll work on it again. But, you know, once I get into it, I really don't want to go to work now. I really want to stay and finish this box. I still have this much left over. But, unfortunately, I gotta be Mr. go be Mr. Poker Dealer guy. And make that cash so oh well but maybe tonight I'll I'll work on it a little more but let's go to work looks like uh, people are starting to head off for their Thanksgiving holidays traffic traffic again hear that there's an accident but I'm pretty sure this is all holiday Thanksgiving travel traffic going on right now the day before Thanksgiving yep and it continues. So a very, very eventful day for your boy Ronnie Bizzle as Mr. Poker Dealer Guy. Dealt my full shift and you can sense that people are in town. There was a lot of people in the casino. As a result, the casino was really, really busy. And of course, our poker room was really, really busy today. So that's a good sign for things to come uh, this weekend. It's like a four-day weekend, so after Thanksgiving, they'll be here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'll be probably making some good money, hopefully. Even though I'm off Friday and Saturdays, which it's all right with me. So a couple things I wanted to bring up that happened at work today. One thing is we had, and we had a um, a guy who played in our 12 p.m. tournament who actually won a bracelet in this year's World Series of Poker. Now, when he mentioned it, I was kind of, ah, whatever. I was a little skeptical, but then he said his name. 
So I looked him up and goes, yeah, that he was he won that tournament, the, the, that event, and he actually had his bracelet with him, which I don't know why he would have his he would, he would be carrying on his his uh, World Series of Poker bracelet, but he did because after he won the tournament, um, he took it out and one of the players that played with him wanted to take a picture with him with that bracelet. So it was kind of cool. It was actually a really really cool bracelet. It was funny because at um, uh, one point I dealt that final table, I dealt the final. Um, hands of that tournament and remember there was four players left and then it was this guy the the bracelet winner and then three other guys and one of the guys was trying to get the bracelet winner he had he had a monster uh, chip stack to do a deal but he would not do a deal because I guess he had a um, I guess he had, he had a last longer bet with one of his friends saying that he he had to finish first and second in this tournament I guess it's like a prop bet or whatever the, the, at these stakes it was like he didn't even care about the money. It's just about this bet he made with his, with his buddy. Where if he finished first and second, he would win $300. So, he would not chop. He would not like chop it because he, he wanted to finish first and second. Eventually, they played it down and um, they actually chopped it. But um, the caveat was he had to sign his name on, on, on the first place. Because when you, when you, win the, when you uh, cash in a tournament, you have to sign for your money. And he wanted to be signed first so he can take a picture of it and show it to his buddy so apparently he won his prop bet so that was kind of cool to have a um, legitimate world series of poker bracelet winner in our room playing our little dinky tournament and winning it of course <laughs> that was awesome and the second thing is um we had this uh we have this couple from canada who's been coming to the room for years and they brought these cookies, uh, they always bring these cookies from Canada. Let me show what they look like. It's, it's uh, Celebration Leclerc. These are like, um, kind of like uh, Oreos, I guess, like like um, cookie sandwiches, but they're, they're made of like real maple syrup. I don't know if you see it right there. Maple syrup. Anyways, the last time they were here, they brought these cookies and they gave it to all the, po all the poker dealers. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of it because the people I work with, they all ate it up, <laughs> so I didn't get any. So they said that I guess when they come back, they would bring me a box, and they did. Look at this, they brought me a box, so I'm taking this home, I'm not leaving it at work. So, shout out to that couple from Canada. Um, I'm not gonna give your names because I don't know if you really want me to say your names on in the vlog, but you know who you are. My one of my favorite people to deal to when they come to Vegas, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna go home and uh, share this with my family and tear it up. Mm -hmm. These are good. So I'm at home right now, relaxing. Thanksgiving Eve, of course, uh, editing the vlog. I'm actually watching a basketball game here on TV there. It's the, the UNLV, UNLV's playing. There you go, there's a halftime score right there. So by the time you watch this vlog, watch this vlog you know who wins this game. Anyways, I'm just relaxing. And it's so weird because it is Thanksgiving Eve. But it just it doesn't. It just feels like a uh, a normal day for me. Probably because of the fact that I have to go to work tomorrow and work on Thanksgiving. You know, most Americans get this time off and they get to spend time with their families and you know they travel to see uh, their loved ones. Unfortunately, I can't do it because you know I work in the casino industry and. You know, people come to the casinos during time off um, to have fun. And since I work in that industry, they make us work. But it's the price I have to pay for being a casino worker here in Las Vegas, here in the great city. But that small con is a, um, a small price to pay for the life that I have now. Because I have a really, really good life. I cannot, cannot, come, cannot ex explain how grateful I am and of course in tomorrow's vlog I will give you maybe some thanks of what I'm really thankful for in this world so anyways I'm gonna end the vlog right here um, comment like and subscribe um, before I do I'm gonna show you I've been eating these those cookies that my friends from Canada got me this is what they look like see it's a maple leaf <laughs> As he knows from Canada, it's a maple leaf. So let's let's have a little taste as well. I already had one earlier, but let's do it for the vlog. So I'll see you tomorrow. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching Ronnie Bills TV.
here on YouTube. Mmm.